Hey what's up guys, it's Disturbed and today I'm going to be doing like a part 2 of making the perfect build guide video that I made a few days ago. So basically I'm just on this guy's account that wanted me to make his gear a little bit better. So I'm just going to be showing you guys a process that I go through when making somebody's build better than what it currently is and you know, just seeing what things that I could change and just to make it better. And uh, you know, hopefully you guys can learn something from it in the process. Keep in mind though that this video is entirely unscripted and it's just like me running around trying to make his build as good as I can. So sorry if it seems like a complete mess and just me like rambling on about random stuff. My bad, it's not like super in depth. Just gonna be showing you guys the process that I go through. Anyways, in the last video I changed somebody's gear sets around to make the perfect build, but he already had everything rolled correctly and I didn't really give any insight on what stuff should be rolled over other things. While on this guy's account, it's a bit of a different story, so hopefully this time it teaches something different than last time. Um, he is going to be using Sentry, which my bad, it might be a little bit repetitive. But if there's any guys, or what am I saying, if there's any questions you guys have, or any, if you want me to make like a part 3 where I take like a horrible build and turn it into a decent one with almost no gear sets, or something like that, if there's any certain requests that you have, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to do that soon. Also, I just want to quickly mention that I am on PC and I'm not fully familiar with the PC UI, so my bad if I got if I go somewhat slow every once in a while and uh, the quality might look pretty bad too because I have to play on low graphics. Because right now I only have a Nvidia GTX 745. I literally just ordered a 970 a few days ago. That should come in the, in a week or so. So if I continue to make videos on PC, uh, it'll it'll be a little bit better. Moving my mic here just a little bit so I can access my keyboard all right anyways let's get right into it so this guy said he wanted a build to be able to one-shot people in pvp with a shotgun but he also said that if he can't get a one-shot build or a two-shot he said he either wanted a shotgun with a one or a two-shot and but he said if that wasn't doable then he just wants a build solely focused around his pp19 so firstly we have to see if he has an ma70 so just looking in his inventory here he doesn't let's check his stash real quick because you're probably not going to be able to one shot somebody if you don't, uh, if you're not using an M8. Let's see, M870, vicious, swift, and brutal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, he can probably two shot people with that. Base damage on it wasn't too low. All right, so let's just get that on equipped, just for now. All right, next order of business: optimizing this. So first thing I see is that he has five sentry and then just a random glove piece. So what I'm either going to do is either put five sentry savage or five sentry reckless. Cause it's not good to just have that one extra slot just, you know, being in limbo. So let's see if we can get savage gloves. I'd prefer savage over reckless because uh, you don't take as much damage and you're most likely not going to have like a 40% pulse. Oh, perfect. Hmm. Let's see if he has another one. Um, you're probably not going to have like a 40% crit chance pulse in PvP because not a lot of people are going to be running like a full skill build. So I'd say it's better to get Savage Gloves so that you are um, you can be dependent on your own and not dependent on other people. Let's see if he has any other Savage Gloves in here that might be a little bit better. Da -da 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 -da. Spec Ops Gloves. Okay. I'll just put both of these in his inventory and then we can compare and contrast them. All right, 636 firearms, 650 firearms, 614 firearms. Okay, so they're all rolled firearms. This one is a 204, but it has crit chance, crit damage, SMG damage. We want crit chance, crit damage, and shotgun damage if possible. So it doesn't look like any of these can do that, but they have damage for elites, which isn't bad for PvE. So we could use this build for both PvE and PvP. And this one has the highest armor roll, which is usually nice, but let's just see if we can reroll any, um, let's see if we can reroll this to shotgun damage, and then if we could, I'd use that. But otherwise, I'll probably just reroll one of the other ones to get, um, crit chance on them, and then replace those dead eye gloves. Yeah, 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 I get it, okay. Let's see here, gloves, spec ops gloves, did not reroll that, oh, he already rerolled that, so that's, that's out. And he rerolled that. So, since this one is a 229, has the highest uh, armor roll, has over 100 armor more than that, and I could probably just reroll. Um, he's not really going to be using an SMG that much, so the extra SMG damage isn't going to help that much. And you know, this one has more firearms and stuff, so I'm probably just going to reroll Martian rifle damage and then keep the damage to elites so that in PvE he's doing extra damage. And then reroll this for crit chance because you need to have crit chance. So. This could take a while. 
because re-rolling gloves always is a pain in the ass, but we'll see. Oh, come on, man. Good thing he has at least a decent amount of credits. Oh my god. This is literally the worst part about making a build, re-rolling shit and not getting it over and over and over again. There we go. Alright, next thing that I noticed, his holster is not, does not have armor. Oh, fuck. Damn it, bro, why'd you do that? Alright, learn from this guy's mistake. Never, ever, ever re-roll a holster for a higher base stat if it is not rolled for armor. Armor cap matters more than anything else, and... For example, he rolled for armor on his knee pads and on his backpack to be able to reach armor cap because he didn't have the extra 500 from his holster. And with that, this might mess up his build and make it not to where he can one-shot people. I'm going to see what I can do, but just a big tip, never do what this guy did. A little bit frustrating because it's going to be really hard to make his build. Um... Because I wanted to be able to reroll armor off of this and get crit damage, so he's doing extra damage. But he rerolled for a base stat, and a base stat getting even a hundred firearms does not equal twenty percent crit damage. Like you're trading off five hundred armor here for three hundred armor here when you could be getting crit damage here, which is way more valuable than a hundred firearms. So never ever ever do what this guy did. Skill haste almost entirely pointless. Um, there isn't really any other. Uh, base stat on a or major attribute you can get on a holster that's better than armor you always want to be armor capped and you never want to sacrifice armor on knee pads or a backpack so that really sucks um he probably won't be able to one or two shot people until he gets an upgraded holster but we'll just make his build tailored around that and then we'll just say you know you just got to get a better holster or something and then he can go out and do that but let's see how high he is over armor cap real quick so he's 200 over armor cap right now. The armor cap is 5,354. Let's see if he has any armor mods on his gear. Oh, wrong button. Okay, nope. 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 Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reroll armor from his knee pads and then get crit damage so he's doing extra damage and then he might be a little bit under cap and then all I have to do to fix that is then just get a stamina mod with armor on it. Oh my god this costs 600k to reroll, Jesus Christ, okay. Thank god I got it first time, holy shit, okay. So now yeah, his, he's under armor cap now so all we gotta do is get a stamina mod with armor on it. So let's see if he has one in, in his inventory. Da -da 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 -da. Any firearms mods? I don't really want to use firearms because he is. He probably has too much firearms as it is. For PvP, just letting you guys know, I'd probably have most of my pieces go for stamina and then try to get upwards of like 450 toughness and then like 3000 firearms around there. Depends on what build you're using, but I generally like to have more toughness in PvP. PVE, you want to have more firearms, just you're doing more damage. And when you're in a smart cover, it doesn't really matter uh, how much you know toughness you have when you're in a smart cover with EDR and, or not EDR, uh, damage resilience and everything. All right, so he doesn't have any armor mods or stamina mods with armor, so I'm gonna check his stash. Or actually, no, let's check if he has any other gear with mods on them that might have it. Nope. All right, let's check his stash. Yeah, this, this video might end up being a while because I might have to like craft some stuff. So my bad if that's what this turns into. Okay. Can I drag that? Oh, I can. Cool. He has none in his stash. Well, that is unfortunate. He's a reckless chest. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. let's see. Can we craft a few? Does not have. Oh wait, yes he does. Stamina mod, gear mod, blueprint. Okay. He has a crap load of electronics and fabric, but the problem with armor mods is that they rarely roll, just because 
I don't know what it is with crafting right now, but you never get what you want. But if I can get some stamina mods with uh, skill power and armor, that would be pretty nice. Because the rest of the mods I want to put into skill power. He doesn't need crit chance because he is using... Oh, that's awesome. He doesn't need crit chance, really. Because if you have a pulse with like at least 28%, and then you have crit chance on your gloves. And on your... Um, what's it called? Your scope. And with savage gloves, you're going to be over crit cap. So you don't really need the extra crit chance. kind of a waste. But the skill power helps you in PvP, giving your, uh, giving your heal some more. Alright, another skill power one. Um, let's see what we can do here. This always takes forever, my bad guys. Feel free to skip ahead until you don't see me doing this crap. I always need to get one of these to get him armor capped. See what I mean though? We, like, we haven't gotten a single one with armor. I absolutely hate rolling shit. It's, it's so frustrating because you do it over and over. And you just continuously watch as you don't get what you want. It's like... Why? I don't... I just don't get it. Usually I want skill power. And I've gotten three... I've gotten skill power three times now, but I can't get armor for the life of me. It's pretty damn annoying. There we go, one with armor, Jesus Christ, okay. Where is it? Yeah, 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 I know, okay. Did it literally go to like the very bottom of the list? Okay. Place mod. He's still not armor capped from that one. Yeah, he's at 74, 62. So I, I might just get him armor capped just because why can't I craft anymore oh his inventory is full alright let's deconstruct some of these um, in terms of mods that you want to deconstruct uh, V is mark as G uh, health, skill haste and signature ability resource gain for the most part are pointless when you compare them to crit chance skill power and uh, armor so I would suggest deconstructing all the ones that have that on them because they're essentially pointless unless they have like really high rolls and you need them otherwise they're not really going to serve you uh, serve you that well is more okay and prototype performance mods are pretty garbage as well unless they have something pertaining to sticky bomb damage if you're trying to make a sticky build but otherwise, they're most of the time pretty garbage. So deconstruct all of these. That opens up a lot of inventory space. And I get to craft some more. Man, this video is really long right now. Oh, my bad, guys. Okay. Just don't want to half-ass it. I want to make it as good as I can. Health. Garbage. Come on. Just one, just one with armor. Just give it to me, game. Thank you. Holy fucking mercy. Okay. Stamina model crit chance. Switch that to this one with armor. Sexy, sexy. That one has skill power on it. Uh, it's exotic damage resilience. Find one with skill power. Um. I know we had a few, yeah. 144, okay, that one's the best. This one has 149, so that one's pretty good. This one's 145, so it's better than the other ones. What the hell just happened? I am not familiar with the PC. Where the hell did it go? I click, I'm clicking the wrong buttons and shit here, okay. There we go. Why did his toughness just go down? Oh, I probably replaced, okay. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, how over armor cap is he? Actually, let me see something real quick. I'm gonna see, uh, since this one has a little bit more armor, I'm gonna see if I can re replace that one and if he's still over armor cap. 74, 74, no. Still under. It's all good. Just make sure you're armor capped. You really need to be armor capped. Because that last 10% scales really, really high. So you pretty much need to do that. Okay. 
So we got his mods all situated. Next order of business. Um, one thing that I might do is no, never mind. I was gonna say I could reroll the armor off of this and then go for a crit damage, so he's doing even more damage and get 20% crit damage. But that's 500 armor, and I'd have to get for one that would take me forever. For two, I don't even think I could get that much armor because, like, let's say I get 150 in every single one, 150, 300, 450, it'd still be under armor cap. So, or no, he's a little bit over right now, but that's if I got max rolls, and that would take me a long ass time to reroll. So, if he's watching, um, if he wants to go and craft a bunch of armor mods, then he can do that, but then he's losing out on skill power. But, anyways, let's go check out if there's anything else we can reroll. One thing that we could reroll is crit chance on the mask because you want skill power on the mask in PvP. But, um, yeah, never get armor on your knee pads or your backpack unless you absolutely need it. Otherwise, try to get that armor cap by having, um, shit. Yeah, yeah, he rerolled that already. That sucks. But otherwise, like I was saying, try to get armor cap by getting it on your holster and through your mods, because you need that crit damage or skill power, whatever it may be. I like having uh, crit damage is so much better than this. Oh, looking at the wrong thing. I was like, what the fuck? All right, now let's equip these boys. Oh shit. I didn't even notice that. What did I re okay. That's shit, man. That puts him in a really bad spot. So we can't even use that. And we need crit damage and crit chance. And this one, he rolled firearms. So I can't even do that, okay. New plan, new plan guys. Reckless chest, sentry's call gloves. Let's hope these sentry gloves. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Does he even have sentry gloves? I think he does, I think I remember seeing them. Aha. Oh my God, I swear if he rerolled this, I'm gonna be so heated. Because you want the 5 set of sentry because the headshot damage bonus you get is really nice, especially with Brutal on an M8. It makes you one-shot people almost indefinitely. Oh yeah, I did not reroll these. Okay, so let's say I equip these. Stats are still decently similar. I still need to put mods in. It's not as great, but you can't have 4,100 firearms. Your toughness is just way too low like that. All right, gonna reroll pistol damage and get crit chance. Oh god, I might have to go make Damascuses. Oh please, please, Poppy RNG gods, please. Ah, oh, fuck. This is the pain of making a build, guys, and like it's hot in Cali right now, and I had to turn off my fan to make this, and I'm sweating my ass off. I've been recording for 18 minutes. This is a garbage video right now. Alright. Gotta make some Damascuses, boys. Well, at least this show you, shows you guys what, like, the accurate, what it accurately looks like doing this. Last time it was kind of a, a spoof, not necessarily, but it's just like he had literally everything perfect, and I just like, okay, I just had to switch a few things. This time, this is what, you know, what it's like to actually make a build. It takes time. Gotta make Damascuses, because I gotta get credits to be able to reroll those gloves. I gotta use this glove so I get 5 sentry, and then the reckless chest for the extra damage, because I couldn't use the savage gloves. The struggle. Alright. For those of you that didn't know, now you know. Um, if you don't have credits, you just make Damascuses. Each of them sells for 44k. So I just got them to 400k. Hopefully to be able to reroll this a few times. Even though gloves are like the epitome of evil when trying to reroll shit. 
but we can hope. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, back on track, boys. I right, just gotta mod that. What the fuck? Okay. Unmod, unmod. He's wears two armor ones, that's why his toughness is so low right now. I didn't even think about. I didn't even realize that. Okay. Above armor cap now. Yep, there we go. Only by a hair though, but still above armor cap. Alright. Ooh, well, that was a pain. So, for the most part, his build's complete. Let's see if we can reroll this M8. I hope we can. This item has been recalibrated the maximum amount of times. Fuck, man. Alright, um. He'll probably be able to two shot people with his current firearms if we can mod it correctly. But you want brutal, deadly, responsive on an M8 or some some type of combination like that. Swift is only decent, brutal is good, vicious is decent. You don't really need vicious. Well, actually, no, vicious is really helpful for this because it basically just gives him savage gloves. So that actually might have been a better alternative is to put on reckless and then keep on vicious. But the problem is it's not up all the time. But if you're healing yourself and you're just worried about trying to one-shot people from the get-go, then uh, having Vicious is pretty nice. Crit chance, headshot damage. Always want that. Magazine, you want mag size and weapon damage. Because if you get crit damage, your crits are going to be hitting a little bit higher. But the weapon damage makes your white hits also do more. And then for the grip, I would say you want accuracy and stability on an M8. A mate. And then... Got to make sure to get that pink camel as always. And then for his other gun, like always, I suggest an SMG, and he has a pretty good PP. Is it enhanced? It's not enhanced, but it's still nice. Because uh, in PvP, uh, getting a PP or any SMG gives you the extra crit damage, which is always great to have. Is this the one on his M8? Yeah, so I can take this one. And then... On a PP-19, you want crit damage and rate of fire so that you're doing extra burst damage. You see that I've lost out on overall DPS, but that's because in a PvP scenario, you're not really going to be worrying about shooting 100 bullets into somebody, because if you do that, they're going to die. If you shoot 50 bullets into somebody, they're going to die. But you want to kill somebody as fast as possible, like after they use their heal or even before they use their heal. So getting the extra crit damage and the rate of fire, as opposed to just a bigger mag size, is going to benefit you more in the long term. And then... For the muzzle on PP-19, you want accuracy and crit damage. Accuracy just helps with the reticle bloom. And for the PP-19, brutal deadly responsive is still good. He has deadly responsive and hurried, so that's a really, really good combo and really high crit damage. Um, if you were to use this build in PvE, all I would do is I would re um, switch out the PP-19 for this M1A. And then I would switch out the M8 for the Super 90, because Super 90s in PvE are better. And especially with this one having brutal deadly and fierce, because you can shoot it accurately over and over again. But in PvP, since he wanted a one or two shot people, you know, this has effectively over like almost, you know, 40k extra base damage. So being able to, you know, one shot people, you'll be able to one shot people with an M870. With his build currently, you'll probably be able to two shot them, uh, most definitely, because he isn't getting the crit damage on his backpack and the rolls on his M8 isn't perfect. But everything else is actually pretty nice. The only problem is that he just needs to get, you know, a new holster. Never reroll skill hate, or what am I saying? Never reroll a base stat on a holster if it does not have armor already on it. So he needs to get armor on that. And then once he gets a new holster, he can just reroll armor on this and get crit damage or skill power. I'd say crit damage if he wants to one shot people. And then also on a mask, you want, uh, instead of crit chance, you want skill power and PvP so that your heal heals for more. And then for the chest piece, his chest piece is actually pretty nice. Armor and exotic damage resilience. Exotic damage resilience is really nice. And first aid self heals perfect. EDR is great so that you don't get completely one-shotted by stickies. Um, he'll probably still get one-shotted. But if he had upwards of 450 toughness and like 2800 firearms, or even like 470 or 480 toughness, depending upon his rolls, uh, he'd probably be able to survive one due to his health being higher. And with the EDR on the chest piece, um, the increased damage by Reckless might fuck him there. But usually you can survive one if you have max, if you have like really high toughness, plus the EDR on your chest piece without final measure. And then his knee pads are essentially perfect. 
uh, really good crit damage roll there. Plus the enemy armor damage is really nice in PvE. And then in terms of his abilities real quick, um, I would say to use this with Overdose in PvP. I don't know what just happened. Okay. Well. And then also in PvP, um, I would suggest using a Pulse. He needs to get his skill power higher so that his Pulse is actually good. Right now his Pulse is pretty garbage. If he got his skill power higher, it would be pretty... Uh, pretty decent if he gets at least like 30 percent plus vicious he will probably be at crit cap so you know that's that's definitely helpful he just needs to get you know skill power on his mask he'd be at like 20k and then uh maybe he, if he even decided to go for it on his backpack he could get upwards to 27 or if he got a better holster with armor and like even got higher armor rolls and etc etc uh, he could get more stamina mods with skill power and then get his skill power up even higher so that'd be nice too in terms of his talents um his talents are pretty good. Steady hands aren't going to do anything in PvP, so I would say just use precision. But um, actually, since his pulse is so bad, I would say just when he's playing with somebody, have somebody else use pulse, and then he can use sticky bomb flashbang, so that you know you're uh, stunning people. Otherwise, his build's looking pretty nice right now. Um, you know the DPS stat might have gone down, it might have gone up. I don't really pay attention to that. All I pay attention to is that he has gear set bonuses. 5 Sentry Reckless, pretty perfect. I know that this is repetitive, like the last video was using Sentry, but that's what he wanted. Um, hopefully in the next video I can show, you know, making a Firecrest build or a Reclaimer or an Alpha Bridge build. Up to you guys what you guys want to see. But for now, he should, you know, he should be able to one or two shot people just like he wanted. And uh, I'm pretty happy on how it turned out. All I did was I just replaced a few pieces, rerolled a few things, and got him extra crit damage here, got him a little bit more skill power, got him a Reckless chest instead of just you know, random dead eye gloves, and um, the, the rolls are exactly the same essentially. He might have lost out on a little bit of firearms or toughness on the way, but in the long run he got a lot more damage out of it, and you know, that's what this was all about. He wanted to be able to one-shot people, and you know, I think I served that purpose. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. If this helped you out or if you enjoyed, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe for videos similar to this one. Again, if there's anything you want to know about, just let me know in the comments below or anything you want to see in another video. And if you want to make, if you want me to make a part three, let me know all those things in the comments. But anyways, again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.